Stat, Amari Studemeyer, Chapter 7. I woke up Sunday with stuff to do, and as soon as I hit the kitchen, Dad added one more thing to the list. He was holding up my shorts from yesterday like Exhibit A in the crime of the century. I'd just thrown them in with the rest of the laundry. I guess that was wishful thinking. Think I can see some cloth in between all these grass stains, he said. Then he leaned in and put his eyes right up close. Yeah, I started. What was I going to do? Deny it? We played some baseball and I was in the outfield and then there was some nerf. I don't know about nerf, but there's definitely some turf, he said, cutting me off. Then he tossed me the shorts. Those are good shorts, so you're get, so you. So you're get these, okay, they put a wrong word in there. So you get those stains out of there, even if you've got to use a washboard. I grabbed the grungy shorts out of the air and put them back by the washer. I sort of made a mental note to add it to my list of things to avoid doing. I looked around at the detergents and all that stuff. Whatever a washboard was, I didn't think I, we had one. Sunday was always kind of heavy on chores. I also had to get my get some serious work done on that history paper, plus the rest of my homework. I had kind of a panicky feeling when I realized how much that was. That feeling must have passed pretty quickly, though, because I was down at the little park with my skateboard an hour later. I was rolling along, along the pavement at the bottom of a set of concrete steps. I tried an ollie and nailed it. Even though it was just a small one, it felt cool to jump through the air with a board stuck right to my sneakers. I felt like Superman, if Superman had any reason to skate. When I landed, I still had some decent speed. I tried to hop up on the first step for a board slide. The steps had worn down metal edges, so they were perfect, but it doinked it. The board got hung up on the edge, and I went flying, and this time, it wasn't the Superman kind of flying. I had to catch myself on the railing to avoid feeling like Clark Kent in the worst possible way. That was okay. It was just my first attempt of the day and I already knew I could do a board slide. I was just trying to get a little better at both tricks and to start linking them together. It's just like basketball. Okay, so you can dribble and you can shoot. Now dribble and shoot. Put those together for a pull-up jumper. The next trick I wanted to learn was a little tougher. I wanted to have these two down before I tried the pop shove it. In that one, you pop the board up in the air so that it's spinning around under you. Then its wheels land on the ground right before you land on it. That was the idea at least. The few times I tried it, the wheels had landed somewhere else and I was the one who ended up on the ground. Anyway. I worked on those first two tricks for a while, but before too long, I had to leave to get back home. It wasn't that late when I, I wasn't that late when I rolled into the driveway, but Junior was out there dribbling a basketball. Come help me out, he said, as if we were painting the house instead of working on his ball handling. And what am I going to do? Not help my brother? So we got into it. He'd shield me off with his body. Trying to get around him was like trying to get around a, a, the side of a building. My brother definitely had more size to work with. When he'd back me down toward the imaginary basket, there wasn't much I could do. But then he'd help me out by dribbling high or out away from his body, and I'd shoot around for the steal. Oh man, got me again, he'd say. Or, where'd you come from? He pretended he hadn't helped me out at all but he always had a sneaky little smile on his face. Guess I was just lucky, I'd say. In a way, I was. Lucky to have an older brother who'd play hoops with me without Mac trucking me into the pavement. He, we just had fun. There was no basket, but there were no bullies or sign-up sheets either. We were out there for an hour, even though we both had chores to do. Or maybe because we both had chores to do. Wash! Dad called as soon as I walked in the door. I wasn't 100% sure if he meant me or those darn shorts, but I figured I could do both at the same time. I used my dirty hands to carry my dirtier shorts 
over to the sink. I knew from years of grass stain experience, I was practically an expert, that you had to get most of the stain out before you put it in the washer. Mm-hmm, said Dad when he walked by and saw me bent over the sink and scrubbing away. That's what I call taking responsibility for your actions. And that's what I call wrinkly fingers. But 15 minutes later, the shorts were ready for the washer, and I finally had one chore crossed off my list. After that, I went to my desk and spread out the stuff for my paper. I'd done the reading. Now I had to start the writing. My plan was to write three pages. That will leave just one more for tomorrow. The one on what Dr. King meant to me. I couldn't write that tonight anyway. I was still trying to figure it out. I was getting a little worried about that. If I couldn't come up with something original and got a bad grade on this big paper, I probably wouldn't make honor roll. That was something Mom and Dad were both pretty proud of, and I didn't want to let them down. Plus, Deuce would be it. Plus, Deuce would be on me for it. I was glad I still had a little time. Anyway, after spending another day running around under the sun, it felt kind of good to sit inside the cool, quiet house and flex my brain a little. When the phone rang, I nearly fell out of my seat. I picked it up. Hello? It was Mike. The bullies had kicked him off the court again. Yeah, he said. The other half of the court was basically open, but some random dude showed up and they told me to get lost so they could run full court. They told you to get lost? I asked. Yeah, but they didn't put it quite so nicely, he said. And they've pretty much trashed the court now. Think they'll be there again tomorrow? I guarantee it, he said, because they told me not to bother coming back. Then I guess they'll be pretty surprised. I said, you in? He said, yeah, I said. I knew I might be getting drawn into something big here and that there were other things I could be doing that were more fun. I even heard that Timmy was organizing another baseball game for tomorrow, but I also knew that these were my friends. No one should kick us off our own court and no one should trash it either. I'm in.